Seven Action News reporter Nana Sancio Bonsu outside of the presidential residence in Ann Arbor where students are demanding answers. Nana? The crowd here outside Mark Schlichel's residence here is dying down, but you can hear and see that there are still people outside chanting and wanting to hold their university president accountable. When we arrived here earlier, there was a much bigger crowd of people saying, we want Schlissel. We want Schlissel. We want Schlissel. University students want Mark Schlissel to come outside and explain his actions. It's just really disappointing. I'm very disappointed in the school and the administration. Disappointed and shocked after finding out the university president was involved in an alleged affair with another employee. This letter is to advise you that the regents of the University of Michigan are terminating your employment as president of the University of Michigan. Dr. Schlissel received this letter from the board today after a lengthy investigation into his communication with another university employee. According to the board, over a period of several years, Schlissel used his university the email to hold inappropriate conversations and a relationship with a staff member. In interest of full public disclosure, the board released this 118-page document filled with Schlichel's emails to illustrate his inappropriate conduct. On your screen are just a few email exchanges highlighted by the board. Last month on December 3rd, Schlichel suggested the employee give him a private briefing in response to an email about the Big Ten Championship President Sweet briefing. A couple months prior to that email in September, Schlichel referred to the employee as sexier. And on July 1st, the employee stated that her heart hurts and Schlichel responded saying, just wanted to apologize for my response to your heart hurting. I should have left it with, I'm sorry, since this is my fault and although I am in pain as well. The board saying his conduct is egregious considering his knowledge and involvement of addressing incidents of harassment at the university. <laughs> Outside Schlissel's residence is where survivors of Robert Anderson protest for change, but never got any answers from Schlissel himself. Students say it all makes sense now. There's been nothing from him, not a peep, and now we know that it's just because he had his own dirty laundry as well. As students continue to stand outside his residence demanding change, this freshman has a message to the university's survivors. I'm sorry, and you know, the students are on your side, and um, I really hope that it goes out from here. Yes, and we mentioned one of Robert Anderson's survivors camping outside of the residence. This is it right here. This is where uh, he, he stays and says he's going to hold this university accountable. Others say they will continue to stand out here until they get answers from Schlissel. And speaking of this residence, the board says he has 30 days to vacate. Anana Sancio Bonsu reporting at the University of Michigan for 7 Action News.